All right, so this last video on real number exponents, we've got some that are just a little bit more complicated, but we'll break it down and just go over it piece by piece. So in this numerator, we are multiplying the same base. So we know that that means that we can keep our base of 6, and we are going to add those exponents. So square root of 12 plus square root of 27 over 6 raised to the square root of 3 power. All right, so let's talk about the square root of 12 plus the square root of 7. Now, those are not the same number, so we can't add those together, but can we reduce the square root of 12 or the square root of 7? So yeah, square root of 12, you can break down into square root of 4 and square root of 3. Square root of 4 is 2, so here's, I'm going to leave the 6. Square root of 4 is 2, square roots of 3, plus... Now 27 can be broken down into 9 and 3. So our square root of 9 is 3, and that square root of 3 stays. This is still all over 6 square root of 3. All right, so let's keep going. This, not that we've reduced these, you see how there's a square root of 3 and a square root of 3? So those are considered like terms, so the 6 still stays. But how many square roots of 3 do you have up top? You've got 2 of them plus 3 of them, so that gives us 5 square roots of 3, all over 6 square root of 3. All right, so now that we have the numerator simplified to one number and the denominator already is one number, let's go ahead and see what we do here. So we're dividing the same base. We have a 6 over a 6, so that means we keep the 6, but we subtract the exponents. So it's 5 square root of 3 minus a square root of 3. Well, there's a subtraction problem with radicals. We can go ahead and subtract those because they are both square roots of 3. So we have six, 5 square roots of 3 minus a square root of 3 is 4 square roots of 3. And then when we do that, we can keep going because we know, well, let's go ahead and evaluate 6 to the 4th power. And the square root of 3 will stay in the exponent. 6 to the 4th power is 1,296 raised to the square root of 3 power. So that one was kind of fun. We got to bring in our, our skills from previous chapters on adding and subtracting radicals. All right, so our next one looks a little bit more complicated. Well, they both look complicated. But our base in this example is a square root of 6 and a square root of 6. So it doesn't matter what the base is, if it's the same thing, then we know that we keep our base and we do an exponent property. We add those exponents. So we have square root of 3 plus a negative square root of 3. Well, square root of 3 plus a negative square root of 3 cancels out, but technically it equals 0. So we have the square root of 6 raised to the 0 power. And then we had a little reminder in our intro video that anything raised to the 0 power is always going to equal 1. So our final answer on this one is 1. All right, down to our last two examples. Um, example 9, we have 2 raised to the square root of 3 power raised to the negative 1 over square root of 3 power. So what we want to recognize on this is that we have a power raised to a power. We can go ahead and multiply those exponents. We will keep our base of 2, but we can do square root of 3 times negative 1 over square root of 3. If I make that a fraction, now I'm multiplying fractions, the square root of 3's will cancel out, leaving us with a negative 1 over 1, which is an exponent of negative 1. When you have your negative exponent, you want to make sure that you um, make that a positive exponent by bringing that to the bottom. So 1 over 2 to the first power or just 1 over 2. All right, example 10. What we need to notice on this one is that our bases are not the same. This one is a 4, this one is a 2. So we can't do much with the problem unless we can get those bases to be the same. So I want to look at this 4 to the 1.2 power. So what we can do with this is look at this 4. Can we rewrite 4 so that the base matches this 2 over here? Well, yeah, we can take 2 squared is equal to that 4 right there. 
raised to the 1.2 power. So all that we're doing is we're manipulating it so that we can simplify it with this number off to the side. Those bases need to be the same. So we can rewrite 4 as 2 squared. That 1.2 came down. Now we would go ahead and multiply 2 times 1.2. So we have 2 raised to the 2.4 power times, I'm going to bring down the rest of the problem, 2 raised to the negative 2.4 power. Alright, now that we have the same base, our base stays the same. When you have two of the same base, you do go ahead and add your exponents. So we have 2.4 plus a negative 2.4. And 2.4 plus negative 2.4 is 0, so we have 2 raised to the 0 power, and anything raised to the 0 power will equal 1.